everyone welcome to book my scans let us have an overview on thyroid function test what is thyroid and thyroid gland a large ductless gland in the neck which secretes hormones regulating growth and development through the rate of metabolism the thyroid is a butterfly shaped gland in the front of the neck the gland produces hormones that controls the speed of your metabolism when the hormone levels become too low or too high you experience a wide range of symptoms thyroid gland is made up of two lobes on either side of your windpipe joined by a small bridge of thyroid tissue called the isthmus the thyroid secretes two main hormones into the blood stream one of these is thyroxine which contains four atoms of iodine and is often called t4 this in turn is converted to triiodothyronine t3 which contains three atoms of iodine It is the T3 that is biologically active and regulates your body's metabolism. Thyroid stimulating hormone. The amount of T4 and T3 secreted by your thyroid gland is regulated by the pituitary gland which lies underneath your brain. The pituitary senses the level of thyroid hormones in your blood stream just as the thermostat in the living room senses the temperature. If the level drops just a little below normal, the pituitary reacts by secreting a hormone called thyroid stimulating hormone (THS). The thyroid stimulating hormone activates the thyroid gland to produce more T4. When the thyroid hormone levels rise above normal, the thermostat senses this and the pituitary gland stops secreting thyroid stimulating hormone so that the thyroid makes less T4. Thyroid stimulating hormone is also called thyrotropin. Production of thyroid hormones. The process of hormone synthesis begins in a part of the brain called the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus releases thyrotropin releasing hormone TRH. The TRH travels through the venous plexus located in the pituitary stalk to the pituitary gland also in the brain. In response the pituitary gland then releases thyroid stimulating hormone TSH also called as thyrotropin into the blood the tsh travels to the thyroid gland and stimulates the thyroid to produce the two thyroid hormones l thyroxine t4 and triiodothyronine t3 the thyroid gland also needs adequate amounts of dietary iodine to be able to produce t3 and t4 the molecules of which contain 4 and 3 atoms of iodine respectively symptoms of thyroid problem nervousness and tremor mental fogginess and poor concentration menstrual changes feeling bloated racing heartbeat aches and pains weight gain high cholesterol levels heat intolerance feeling cold what is thyroid function test thyroid function tests are a series of blood tests used to measure how well your thyroid gland is working available tests include the t3 t3ru t4 and tsh If your thyroid gland produces too many hormones you may experience weight loss high levels of anxiety tremors and a sense of being on a high this is called hypothyroidism typically a doctor who is concerned about your thyroid hormone levels will order broad screening of tests such as the t4 or the thyroid stimulating hormone test Your doctor will order further tests to pinpoint the reason for the problem. The T4 test 
and the TSH test are the two most common thyroid function tests. They are usually ordered together. Let us get to know some facts about thyroid function test. The T4 test is known as thyroxine test. A high level of T4 indicates an overactive thyroid, hyperthyroidism. Symptoms include anxiety, unplanned weight loss, tremors and diarrhea. Free T4 is the form that is readily available for your body to use. Sometimes a free T4 level is also checked along with the T4 test. The TSH test measures the level of thyroid stimulating hormone in your blood. The TSH has a normal test range between 0.4 and 4.0 milli international units of hormone per liter of blood. If you show signs of hypothyroidism and have a TSH reading of about 2.0 milli international units of hormone per liter of blood, you are at risk for progressing hypothyroidism. Both the T4 and TSH tests are routinely performed on newborn babies to identify a low functioning thyroid gland. If left untreated, this condition called Congenital hypothyroidism can lead to developmental disabilities. T3 results and T3 resin uptake results. The T3 test checks for levels of the hormone thyroiodothyronine. It is usually ordered if the T4 tests and TSH tests suggest hypothyroidism. The T3 test may also be ordered if you are showing signs of an overactive thyroid gland and your T4 and TSH aren't elevated. The normal range for the T3 is 100 to 200 nanograms of hormone per deciliter of blood. Abnormally high levels most commonly indicate a condition called Graves' disease. This is an autoimmune disorder associated with hypothyroidism. A T3 resin uptake also known as T3RU is a blood test that measures the binding capacity of a hormone called thyroxine binding globulin. If your T3 level is elevated, your TBG binding capacity should be low. As we discussed the significance and terminologies of thyroid function test, we can conclude that it has benefits for everyone. If you are planning to have a thyroid function test, book your test through BookMyScans and get the best price. Please do like, share and subscribe and don't forget to comment below.